Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the ATHC executable has stopped working properly on your Windows computer. So this is basically attributed if you're running some kind of Apple device that's hooked up to your Windows computer, so like an iPhone, iPad, so forth, and perhaps you have the iTunes application installed on your computer. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. And we are going to start by opening up the Task Manager. So you want to right click on a blank spot on your desktop and then left click on Task Manager from the list. So now you want to left click on the View tab up at the top, one time left click on it, and then left click on Run New Task. Now you want to left click on the Browse button right here. And now you want to navigate over to wherever your main PC is. So left click on this PC on the left side. And then go underneath whatever drive Windows is installed on, so it'll have a little Windows icon likely above the hard drive, and it'll be a local disk. In my case, it's my C drive, so I'm going to double click on that. Then we're going to go underneath Program Files. And if you're running a 64 bit version of Windows, it might be a different folder, but again, you just want to go underneath Program Files times 86. So if you have 64 bit applications, there might be a second folder in there times 86 means it's 32 bit and that's where we're going for this tutorial so either program files or program files and then parentheses times 86 and now you want to go underneath common files and now you want to double click on the Apple folder and then double click on mobile device support double click on that so once we're in here you want to go down to the executable selection further down and there should be something that says ATH as clear as day once you've left clicked on that, you want to left click on open. And then you want to check mark create this task with administrator privileges. And then left click on OK. And then you should see a command prompt briefly open up before it disappears again. So now that you've started up the service, you should be able to read into your iTunes library with your Apple device. Basically, that means that the service directly entails your iTunes library. So if you're trying to open up iTunes and you're experiencing this issue, hopefully that should have resolved it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.